My name is Jennifer Sanders, education business expert from Grand Rapids, Michigan. Today we are going to be discussing structure of motion, the theory behind it, and the basic movements that we use when we're doing it. Structure of motion is based on angles and elevation. In order to understand hair cutting, you have to understand angles and elevation and how they affect your end result. The two most common angles in hair cutting are 45 degrees and 90 degrees. The structure of motion sim cord tool pictured here can help us grasp that. By applying this tool to any head shape, you can better understand the primary angles of hair cutting and how to separate the front from back, the sides from the top, and the um, top from the bottom. The SimCore tool gives a visual on how to apply primary shapes of a square, the triangle, and the circle. This relates to the five profiles of the head, which are the front, the top, left, right, and back. Using these primary shapes, we can get a visual for how the angles and elevations that we choose will affect the outcome of any haircut. Notice that on the SimCore tool, when we are using structure and motion, we are using any elevations from zero all the way up to 180. When we begin to over direct the hair, this occurs when we do any elevation that's past 180 degrees, which brings us into the five basic movements of structure and motion. The first movement in structure and motion is finger angle. also known as cutting angle. When we get into the hair and we pick up a section, our finger angle refers literally to the angles that we put our finger at. This is where we will begin cutting the hair. So the finger angle or cutting angle determines the length, short or long, of the, in of the layers in the haircut. In and out movement, is the next movement in structure and motion. The in and out movement refers to total movement between your control hand, your cutting hand, and your body. This will help us determine the length of the hair from short to long within a haircut. Lateral direction is the next movement. That is when we pick up any section of hair and we laterally direct it side to side. This movement helps us create length within a haircut. It also will help us to create a graduation. Elevation. Like we discussed with the SimCore tool, is any time we pick up the hair and we move it past zero degrees. Elevation can be anything from 10 to 45 to 90 all the way up. Over direction. Over direction, again, refers to taking a section of hair and over directing it across the head shape past 180 degrees. When we do that, we are creating nice, full, rounded layers. It also helps us keep the density at the bottom of the hair section. When we're cutting hair, one of the things we do is called incising. When we incise, our shear is held in our ring finger. We insert just the tip of our thumb into the shear and we open and close gently, never fully closing our shear. When we insert our shears into the hair to incise, we put our shear in between our control hand and the head shape, putting the hair all the way to the back of the shear, we lightly open and close all the way down to the end of the section. Notice how I never close my shear all the way. By incising, whether we make very exaggerated movements when we do that, we're creating a lot of texture within the haircut. When we make short, quick movements, we're creating more of a seamless blend. Part of structure in motion is our body angle and our body positioning. When we're incising, that's how we're cutting hair. When we're incising and going down, 
our body changes position. When we go down, we put our left foot forward, putting most of our weight on that front leg. Our control hand is pointed up. Our shears come down in between our control hand and the head shape. We then incise all the way down, leaning forward so we can be sure to see not only the hair that we are going to cut, but also the hair that we have left. When we are cutting up, our stance changes to our right foot going forward. Again, we are placing most of our weight on that right foot so we can come forward and see the hair. Our control hand is going to be pointed down. Our control hand is pointed down. Our scissors are pointed up and they are placed in between the control hand and the head shape. We come in, putting the hair in the back of the shear and we incise up. We can also travel diagonally through the head shape to help blend the back to the sides or the sides to the top. When we do that, we will take a diagonal parting and incise, in this instance, from left to right. Those are the five basic movements of structure and motion. That is our shear handling with incising and being sure to have control with our ring finger and slight movement with our thumb. And that was also our information on our SIM core tool and how it relates to structure and motion. Thank you.